Mobile Trader – How to use the XM Android Phone Trader application part 2. The next option of the main tabs is Chart. Here you can see the graphical representation of a particular instrument. For example, Australian Dollar versus Canadian Dollar. The MT4 Android application has two indicators, both already attached by default the moving average on the main window and the relative strength index in a separate window. There are several buttons located on the top of the main charts tab. By clicking the third button, counting from the left side, on the top side of the charts window, a drop-up menu appears. This menu displays your main symbols list. Let's change this to EURUSD. With the next button, you can set how the time period is displayed on your chart. For example, let's choose M30, which stands for 30 minute time periods. You can adjust how the charts are displayed by going to the settings menu and locating the line type option. The first option is bar chart and it displays the chart as bars. The second option displays the charts as candlesticks. The third option is the line chart, which displays your chart in the form of lines. The second button in the top section is called Indicators. Clicking it takes you to the main Indicators window. As mentioned before, the XM Android application has Moving Average and RSI indicators already attached by default. The Moving Average indicator is displayed on the main chart while the RSI is displayed in a separate window. Now, let's remove these default indicators. To do this, click and hold on a selected indicator. This will make a mini action window appear. This window gives you the option to either edit or delete the indicator you selected. Let's see how all current indicators can be deleted by clicking Delete. By repeating the same step, you can remove all currently attached indicators. By going back to the main charts tab, you can see that all the indicators have been successfully removed from the main chart window. On the chart window, you can decide the amount of detail you wish to have displayed. To get a clearer image of the candlesticks, for example, you can use the pinch out function of your Android to zoom in and see the candlesticks in more detail. Now let's have a closer look at the indicator's main window. By clicking on the main indicator's icon, you will see a list of various indicators. For example, if you want to add the Average Directional Movement Index indicator to your chart, click it once. Once clicked, you will see the parameters where you have the option to change the properties of the selected indicator. Don't forget that these options vary according to the indicator selected. For example, by clicking Styles, which is common for every indicator, you have the option to change the color and the width of the selected indicator's line. Click Done to confirm your selection, and the indicator will be added to the main chart. Remember that some indicators are automatically attached in a separate window inside the Charts tab. Back again to the main indicators window, you can see that the average directional movement index indicator has been added to the indicator window 1 section, which is a separate window. If you want to add another indicator, click plus on the right hand side under the main chart section. Clicking plus takes you to the list of indicators section. Let's select the Bollinger Bands indicator for example. After clicking it once, the parameters of this indicator appear. If you are satisfied with the options displayed here, proceed by clicking Done to confirm adding this indicator to the main charts window. Alternatively, click the back button to be redirected to the indicator's main list. Press Done to confirm this action. Then go back to the chart main window to see if your new indicator has been attached. The main quotes tab offers additional options for each instrument. To access these options, click and hold on a particular symbol. This will make a mini action window appear for the instrument you selected. In our example, this is EURUSD. 
This mini action window contains several options. At the bottom of the window, you can see the advanced view mode button, which switches from simple to advanced mode. The symbol properties button displays all the information and parameters of the selected instrument. Open chart redirects you to the main chart window. Last comes the new order button. There are various methods of placing trades. The first is by clicking and holding down on a specific symbol, in our example Euro USD, which makes a mini action window appear. Here you can choose new order at the top of the menu. Pressing it takes you to the new order window. Here you have several options. By clicking the instrument pair tab, a drop down menu appears with all the available symbols you have currently selected on your main list. The next option is the type of order. By clicking here, another drop down menu appears. Here you can choose the type of order, market execution or a specific type of pending order. In our example, we will choose market execution. At the top you can see the volume section. Here you can adjust the volume according to your preferences. Press left or right to change the volume by 0.01 lots or 0.1 lots. To place a market execution order, click either buy or sell. Let's choose sell order by clicking the sell button. Following this, a confirmation window appears where you can see that your order has been successfully placed. You will then be automatically transferred to the Trades tab where you can see your active orders. End of part 2. Thank you for watching.